This is part 5 of Razor Pages tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss creating a reusable data access class library project. This project can then be reused in a Razor Pages web application, Windows application, web API, etc. It works cross platform. This is the same solution we've been working with so far in this video series. We added this models.net standard class library project in our previous video. Similarly, let's add another new project to this solution. Since we already used this template .NET standard class library in our previous video to create a new project, it's listed under recent project templates. If you don't see it here, search for class library project and then choose this first option .NET standard class library C sharp is the programming language and then click next. This project is going to contain all our data access services. So let's name it Razor Pages Tutorial dot services and then click create. For this services project to be able to retrieve employee and department data, it needs access to these two entities and these entities are defined in this models project. So from this services project, we want to add a reference to this models project. At the moment, this services project only has an SDK dependency and that dependency is on the .NET standard library. In addition to the SDK dependency, it is also dependent on this models project. So let's add a project dependency and the way we do that is by right clicking on dependencies and then select add reference. On this reference manager screen, make sure you're on the projects tab because we want to add a project dependency and we can see both our projects listed here. The first one is our Razor Pages web application project and this is our .NET standard class library project. So select this project and then click OK. Notice we now have a new projects dependency and if we expand that, we see our models project listed and if we take a look at the project file, Notice we have a project reference element here and it is pointing to our models project. Next, let's implement the data access service. For that, we're going to make use of this I employee repository interface. This interface abstraction allows us to use dependency injection. Dependency injection follows inversion of control principle and allows us to develop loosely coupled systems. If you're new to the concept of dependency injection, please check out this part 19 of our ASP.NET Core beginners course. At the moment, this interface has got just one method, get all employees. And as the name implies, this method is going to return an I enumerable of employee objects. Let's rename this auto-generated class1.cs file name to iEmployeeRepository. We are creating an interface here. So let's change this class keyword to interface. And this interface is going to contain just one method. iEnumerable is in system.collections.generic namespace. Let's bring that in by pressing control period. And this employee type is in razor pages tutorial dot models namespace. Let's bring that in as well. Our next step is to provide an implementation for this I employee repository interface. And we're going to do that using this mock employee repository class. This class, as you can see, implements the interface I employee repository. At the moment, we have employee data hard coded within the application code. We'll discuss how to retrieve this from a database in our upcoming videos. Let's add a new class file to our services project. Name it mock employee repository. We want this to be a public class and make it implement I employee repository. We are going to hard code employee data. So let's create a private field for that. And then let's include a constructor. Inside the constructor, let's initialize this private field with a hard-coded list of employee objects. Notice we have initialized the private field with four employee objects. Finally, we want to return this list from our get all employees method. At the moment, our solution contains three projects. All our entities are present in the models project. Our data access service is present in the services project. 
In our next video, we'll discuss how to consume these two projects from our Razor Pages web application project. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.